Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to create a new personal planner on personalplanner.com. <laughs> For the past five years, I've been making my planners there and I've been loving it ever since. It is a bit pricey, but with the amount that I use my planner and what I get back for it, it's definitely, definitely worth it. And also, if you buy one personal planner, you get a discount code for the next one. This is my fifth planner. I made it last year and today we're going to make my sixth planner. I'm always quite early with making my planner, but this is not the earliest I've been. I think I've once made my planner back in February or March when the planner started in August for the next year. All the times that I've been making personal planners, I learned what I did like and what I didn't like, and obviously you're stuck with it for the rest of the year, but now that this is my sixth one, I pretty much know what I want. Let's just get into it. I do have a sort of center recipe when it comes to the outside of the planner what i've been doing since my second one in the first one that was actually not even possible starting from the second planner i was able to create my own front and my own back I've always been taking the classic A5. I just find that the perfect size. There's a bunch of information there. I've been using them for so long, I already know how everything works. Their website changed a lot. I've been messing around with it yesterday evening to prepare for this video. I like what they did. I can see why they did it, but I find it a lot less easy to create everything because I have to click on here, whereas before everything was here in this list and I could just fill it in here. So starting with the front cover, I already made my front cover. It's just a picture that converts that took the other day i really really like the picture so i've always taken one picture for the front then cover text i usually um when i made my planner as you can see this is another font than the one you can see on the screen they only have this option for front cover text which i thought was not very nice this time i actually decided to just go ahead and do this so now the sound changed elastic closure i've always had the black one and i can, you can take it out whenever you want so but i can take it out and then move it around from planner to yeah, planner that's... this time i I actually decided I'm gonna go for a white one and I never chose the white one because I thought maybe if it gets dirty it just messes up the entire planner then we go to back cover so starting from the second planner I've always had a collage of four by four pictures last year this was the back this time I decided to do it as well I always take some of the highlights that I've had in the past year honestly with COVID there haven't been a lot of highlights but obviously my album came out and we had a CD presentation we had the video shoot of feel good movie which was insane then we go to the end Inside. I've always just gone with the standard starting month August language is going to be English I've always had English holidays but I decided to go for the Dutch ones for a change inlay design honestly I'm always having a lot of trouble with this one for the first one it was easy because I just took the same inlay as I had the outside last year I took a bit of color before that I always had like a black kind of design they have a lot of designs you do have to take one from here this one was the one I had last year, so we're not gonna take it again. So we're gonna go for this one. Then we go for the weekly layout. So I've been messing around with this for a very, very long time. This first one works best for me. And then for writing space, I always take lines every everywhere. Ruler. So this time I had a blue ruler. I'm not sure, not much fits with this inside for the colors that they have. I think I might go for a white one. Then we go for daily details. You can take weather, which looks like this. Then you can do work. Honestly, I work whenever I can, so that doesn't really make sense. You can do workout small or workout large. I've never had a timetable. You have different options for timetables. I came to the conclusion that I actually do want to have that. So I'm gonna take this one. I do want to have space on the bottom so I can write my to-do lists module one so that's for here you have a lot of options if you can just look at that i'm gonna go for this one for seven meals the second one i want to have the weekly boost and then the third one i'm gonna keep empty and then we go to personal dates you can pick birthdays like write them in and then you can see them in your planner written down which is really really nice so i will probably go back and add more later on then okay the back pages are one thing i love because there are so many options if you can see this there's so many options of things you can choose i am gonna go for the monthly overview um, i've had this year overview but i found it very annoying so i never used it i'm gonna take sudoku i hardly use it so i'm only gonna take two pages but you can fill 48 pages this is new i've never had this but i'm really interested they have a cleaning schedule i really want that 
because it only takes four pages to have 52 weeks. Lastly, you have so many options, but I don't think I'll ever use any of those. Whereas the ruled one, I will definitely do use. So I'm gonna fill the rest of my pages up with ruled. And then you can personalize this. Uh, I honestly have no clue yet how I wanna do this. I always did like quotes and stuff. So this one is pretty standard. I'm gonna keep it the same way I had it before. I don't know what to fill in here. I will take this the same. So apparently we're gonna go for this. That's just so cringy. Now I can see an overview of everything. Then this is also included, which I like. Everything looks good. I'm just now gonna go and edit those dates. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I added all the birthdays that I wanted to add. I have the little overview thing. Just let me check if everything's okay. Add to cart. Okay, so this friction pen, I already have that one. This is literally the only pen I use in my planner and I love it because I've already had like friction pens, but this one doesn't have like a lid, so I never lose it. The, the whole thing about friction pens is that you can erase your stuff. So many appointments get cancelled nowadays or moved or whatever. I really like this pen, but I already have one, so I'm not gonna buy any more. Was thinking of maybe adding a refill pack. I do have a value coat. All amounts are given in euros now. Okay, apparently we have to pay with PayPal. Order status, your order is being processed and checked before being sent to print. At this point, no further changes can be made, nor can the order be canceled. Well, that's good to know. Everything's done. So I guess that's the end of this video. I hope you liked the video. I will probably post it on Instagram when my planner arrives. So that'll probably be before this video is even being released. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this planner. I would definitely recommend them. I am not sponsored, nor have I ever been sponsored by them. I just stumbled upon them six years ago and I have not stopped loving them ever since. I can literally show you my stack of personal planners. I still have them all and I love them so, so, so much. And I use my planner so, so much. They have discount codes on their Instagram very often as well. So definitely go and check them out on Instagram. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say or to ask, then definitely leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you next week. Bye guys.